Google AI is actually amazing. I created a full AI voice agent for a dental clinic in less than 30 minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it all for free. So here is a quick demo of what we're going to build. We have our dental care assistant, our AI voice agent, and we have a big start button over here. So if I click on it, the entire thing will start. Hello, thank you for calling Dental Care. My name is Zephyr. To get started, could I have your first name and how can I help you today? Hello, Zephyr. My name is Mansoor and my tooth hurts a lot and I'm not really sure what to do. I'm sorry to hear your tooth hurts. Mansoor, we should definitely get you booked in to see the dentist. What day and time would be best for you? Is tomorrow at 11 good? Mm. Tomorrow at 11 looks like it's available. So that's Mansoor, tooth pain, and tomorrow at 11. Does that sound right? Yeah, that's good with me. I've put the details on the screen for you. Please review them, enter your email for the confirmation, and click confirm when you're ready. Great, your appointment is confirmed. I've opened your email app with all the detail. Just hit send to get your written confirmation. We look forward to seeing you. So as you can see, this was the entire demo and you saw how I was able to talk to an AI voice agent for a dental clinic to help me book an appointment to see a dentist. And you saw in the end where there was a confirmation form where it got all the information I told the AI voice agent and at the end I could confirm by entering my email. And in the end, it prepared an email for me. So this is just a demo. Google AI can't really send you emails. So it did the best. It just opened the email app and created a draft email for me just to simulate the email to show you how things would work if you were to actually use this and put it in an actual dentist website. Now let's go and build this entire thing. All right, the first thing you want to do is to head over into Google AI Studio and you want to click the build tab over here. So after you click on it, you're going to land on this page. This is the page where all the magic happens, where you could build all your AI apps. And you can see different sections. First, the section over here where we have the prompt section where we write our app idea. And over here, which is super nice, and this is what I like about Google AI Studio, you could add AI directly inside your app because Google created Gemini and Gemini has so many different AI features you can add. For example, Nano Banana, live conversation, having fast AI responses, and so many other things. And in our case, we're definitely gonna be using some of these features over here. So let's go and start prompting the app idea that we wanna build. So we wanna build an AI voice agent for a dental clinic, so let's just write it. Build me a AI voice agent for a dental clinic that helps with booking. The website should be as simple as having a button that lets me talk with the voice agent. Make the AI voice agent sound superhuman and not like a robot. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is actually go into the supercharged section and put some AI elements inside our app. So definitely we want to select the create conversational voice apps so that we could talk to the AI and the AI could reply to us. Let's make our AI voice agent intelligent by adding Gemini intelligence inside your app. And then we could also have fast AI responses. So if the AI needs to check up things, it would be handy to have this one. And then the last one, let's add the think more when needed. So let's say I'm asking something to the AI voice agent and it's something super technical for dentists. I think it would be super nice if our AI voice agent can help us with that. Okay, so we added all the AI features inside our application. We have our prompt. Now let's click the build button. So Gemini 2.5 Pro is thinking and it's looking at our request and it's going to start building the application. Okay, it started to code. As you can see, you can see all the live code that is thinking and coding. It's creating all the different components from the microphone button to the stop button, the loading animation. And it's pretty cool to see all this code being generated live. While you don't necessarily have to think about all this code, if you know coding and software engineering, then you could definitely dig into it and see what it's doing. Okay, it found two errors by itself. Now it's trying to fix the two errors. Okay, cool. So it looks like it finished. Let's allow the microphone over here. Now let's click this button. The icon looks a bit weird, but it's okay. We'll try to fix this after. Let's click the button and see if we have a voice agent now. Hello? Hello there. How can I help you today? 
Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, hello, yeah, um, my teeth hurt a lot. Uh, the back teeth over here, I would say the no, on the left side is hurting a lot. I don't know what to do. Should I book an appointment or should I talk to someone? Is there anything I could do at home? I'm sorry to hear you're in pain. It sounds like you should book an appointment to have it checked out. I can help you with that. What would be a good day for you? I don't know. Is there some time tomorrow? Because my teeth hurt a lot and I need to see the doctor as soon as possible because I can't handle the pain. I understand. Let me see what's available tomorrow. What time would be convenient for you? I don't know. Maybe can we do something at 11? Around 11? Yes, I have an opening at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Would that work for you? Yeah, okay. Let's book it. Great. I have booked a dental appointment for you tomorrow at 11 a.m. for pain in your back teeth. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. So I just stopped that. Now, I have a couple of feedback. So first of all, let's say to fix the icon inside the microphone button because it looks super weird. Fix the icon in the mic button. It does not look okay. Second, let's say the voice agent should be talking as if they're a receptionist inside a dental clinic right now it didn't really feel like that it didn't really feel like i was calling a dental clinic they didn't even ask for my name they didn't even ask for my information it was me leading the conversation but a dental clinic should be the one leading conversations and asking them information like what's your name what is the reason you want to see a doctor so i'm gonna write this feedback the ai voice agent and should act like a receptionist and for the third piece of feedback the ai voice agent sound a bit too robotic let's add some human things inside her voice like ums i don't know anything to make the ai voice agent a bit more human add some ums mm, and size and more things to make the ai voice agent more human okay let's send this prompt and see what google ai creates for us okay so google ai just finished now let's test the app again so as we can see the icon changed over here so it looks like a microphone button so let's click the button hopefully the ai should be leading conversation the ai agent should be the one talking first hello thank you for calling dental care my name is zephyr your friendly ai assistant to get started, could I have your first name and how can I help you book your appointment today? So my name is Mansoor and um, I would like an appointment but uh, my tooth hurts a lot and it's unbearable. Is there anything I could do from home? Oh Mansoor, I'm so sorry to hear your tooth hurts so much. That sounds awful. While it's best to see a dentist for the root of the problem, sometimes rinsing with warm salt water can help reduce swelling or taking over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen if you're able to take those. But we definitely want to get you in for an appointment as soon as possible. Do you have any particular day or time frame that works for you? Yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, I'll try those things. Yeah, I'd like to see a dentist. Can we do something tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow. Um, let me check the schedule for you. Mm, it looks like we have a few openings tomorrow. Would an afternoon time work better? for you no i'd like to go as soon as possible can we do like um 5 a.m in the morning i understand you'd like to come in as soon as possible unfortunately our office hours are not open at 5 a.m our earliest appointment usually starts at 8 a.m would a slot around then tomorrow work for you okay let's take the 8 a.m slot please okay Mansoor. I have booked you an appointment for tomorrow at 8 a.m. at Dental Care Clinic. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. Please let us know if you need to cancel or reschedule. We hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Okay, cool. So we saw the improvements from the AI voice agent. We saw that now it's saying a lot more ums and ums and the icon is fixed. Over here, we have this dialogue over here that's saying appointment confirmed and it has my name and it has the reason and it has the date and time. But I think it'd be super nice if the user could confirm the appointment so the user could see all the information that the AI gathered and then the final confirmation button would be on the user's hand. Because right now, when I talk to the AI, it confirmed the appointment and 
as you can see my name is not right the reason could be something totally different if maybe the ai misinterpreted what i said and also the date and time could be something different so for the third feedback let's say make the user confirm the appointment with a form when the ai is ready to book an appointment a form shows to the user with the pre-filled information that the AI gathered for the booking. The user is the one that can confirm the booking and the end. Okay, so let's send all of these feedback and see what we have on the next version. Okay, so Google is updating its code. And I think the bulk of the work is being done in Gemini servers. This is where we are calling all the AI services, like the live call to talk to an AI voice agent. Okay, so it finished the code, but there is an error. So it's trying to fix it by itself. And this is the cool thing about Google. Google AI Studio and other vibe coding tools a lot of times when it creates code for you you have to run it and then it gives you an error and then you have to copy the error or you click a button to tell the AI to fix the errors but here Google is creating the code and then finding the errors on its own and then fixing the errors so it's really cool to see that because every single time that you have a new build you're confident that this new build is going to work and you're not going to be left out with some build errors all right cool so it looks like it finished now let's try again I'm going to click the button hello thank you for calling dental care my name is zephyr to get started could i have your first name and how can i help you today hello my name is mansoor and i'd like to have an appointment tomorrow at 11. hi mansoor mm, so you'd like an appointment tomorrow at 11 a.m may i ask what the reason for your visit is yeah my tooth hurts a lot okay mansoor so you're in for tooth pain and you'd like an appointment tomorrow at 11 a.m. Does that sound right? Yes. I've put the details on the screen for you to review. Please check them and click confirm when you're ready. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So now we have this form over here where I could edit my name. I could edit the reason for a visit. I could also edit the time and date that I requested for my visit. So if I need to do anything, I could edit it. Or if I'm good, I could just confirm the appointment. So I'm going to click confirm appointment and see what happens. I have you all set for tomorrow at 11 a.m. for your tooth pain. Monsoor, we'll see you then. Have a good day. All right, cool. So this was a pretty nice experience. So I went through the entire call i described my pain i described what i needed i requested a time to see the dentist i even got a form where i could edit and modify and confirm my appointment and what i did the ai saw that request it saw that i confirmed the appointment and it gave me the final confirmation that everything is set and i'm ready to see the dentist tomorrow so i'm really happy with what we built so far so one last thing that we could do to make this super cool is to make it so that it sends an email for our booking appointment so let's try it i'm not sure if it's going to work because we don't even have a backend set up like a database or an email service but let's try it and see what happens great now make it so that it sends me a real email on the form i should have an email field that i need to type all right so let's send this and see if we can have our final ai voice agent built for us all right it's finished now let's test out the email feature so i'm going to go through the conversation again you don't have to hear everything and i'm going to show you what happens when we're in the email section okay cool so we see details on the screen for you please review them enter your email for the confirmation and click confirm when you're ready all right cool so we see I put the details on the screen for you please review them enter your email for the confirmation and click confirm when you're ready okay so i'm just gonna put, i'm just gonna do what the ai is telling me because she's talking over me so i'm gonna put the confirmation email i'm gonna put an email over here and just click confirm email Okay, so I see what's happening right now. So it opened the email app for me. Like I said, because we don't have a backend and we don't have an email service that can send emails for us, it tried to simulate the best thing could do. So it opened the email app for us. But this is still very cool. So let's say you were a dental clinic and you had all the services and you had a backend and everything. They would pretty much do the same thing as it's doing right now. It would create an email and then send it automatically to the email that the user registered. So this is very nice. I think we have our application fully built. Let me stop this. 
So this is it, our dental AI voice agent. And as you can see, we did everything with Google AI Studio with just a couple of prompts. And of course, you can take this and build upon it. This is just a small demo for this short video. But you can imagine you could take this and then actually go and demo it to some dental clinics and tell them, hey, some people don't like talking on the phone. It'd be super nice if you have this AI agent on your website that could book appointments for you 24 seven. How great would that be? So this was the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.